In this video, we're going to talk about how a student would log in to Azure Lab Services and how they would access it. Basically, it's pretty easy. Uh, first thing they need to do is they need to click that registration link that they've got from you as the instructor. Uh, the registration link is what actually joins them to the class. Uh, and then once that's done, they come up to Azure, sorry, labs.azure.com slash virtual machines. It's almost the same URL that you as an instructor uses. Uh, you use just labs.azure.com. Students would use the slash virtual machines. When they're done, they will see these various classes or labs available to them. They may only see one. Uh, they may see none, actually. If they don't see your class, then that means that they did not click the registration link. So make sure that they are in the, your class, uh, make sure that they have a virtual machine available for them, and make sure that they have received the registration link. Once they click the registration link, the class will show up. When that's done, first thing they need to do is they need to identify which class they're going into and then change the, the status from stopped to running. It powers on the virtual machine and gets them access to it. Once the virtual machine is running, they have this icon right here that allows them to connect to the virtual machine. So they click that and it downloads an RDP file or a remote desktop protocol configuration file. They can click on that and it will open up a window such as this, prompting them for credentials. Uh, here I cheated and I put the username and password in the description for the lab. So I'll go ahead and type that in and it should connect the RDP session here shortly. And there we go. We are now in Azure and we are ready to go. So this is the lab environment. The lab will differ depending on what you want to do. Uh, at this point, they're able to work. Now for closing up when they're done, what we want them to do is we want them to close this down. Uh, there's a couple of different ways that they can close this down. They can come down just to the start menu and choose power it off, just shut down. Uh, they can click this X button right here, or they can minimize the window and click the X button right here. Uh, when this happens, it will disconnect them. It will log them off. And after about 10 minutes, it will automatically shut down their virtual machine. Best practice would be for them to actually click running and change it to stopping and it will stop it down automatically. So there you go. That's how a student would access the Azure virtual machines. Uh, again, the URL is slightly different. They have to accept the registration link. And then once they're in, they are in. They just need a remote desktop protocol a client, which is built into Windows. Uh, if they're running Linux or Mac, they may need to do some extra steps.